All right, so this video series is, is about building a social app with Thunkable, um, but we're also going to use um, Firebase. And Firebase is this great Google tool. You can, you can actually have databases. It stores databases for you. We're not going to use that, but it also handles user login for you. So it'll handle that part of your database, you know, and, and also sending out emails so that the user has to verify, you know, their account or whatnot, letting them change password. Firebase is great for that. So you can get a free account at firebase.google.com. Um, just sign up, okay, get the account. And then I'm gonna open up my console and you'll, the first thing you'll see is like add a project, create a project. And you're, you're not gonna create a database. You're gonna create a project and an app within that. I'm gonna show you exactly how to, how to do that. So I'm just gonna say add project and I'm gonna give it a name, just type in here and we'll just call this um, posting app one, okay? And you can call it whatever you want, whatever your app is, um, you can call it, uh, what it, you know, name, name it descriptively. Okay, I'm not gonna enable Google, Google Analytics because we're doing a thunkable mobile app and it doesn't really make sense for that. So I just, uh, disabled that and now I'm going to say create project. Okay, so now Firebase is creating this this web project for me. You know, everything lives on the cloud and it's going to store all, you know all the emails and passwords that we send send it, okay? Uh, but it takes a second to do this and once it's ready just say continue and then there's a couple more steps and watch this one very closely. So it's weird Firebase has a project and within that project, you can have multiple apps. We, we only want one, but you need a project and an app, okay? Um, so we're gonna choose this web uh, icon right here, okay? You don't want iOS, even if you're building an iOS app or Android, you want this web thing. And that's just the way, the way Thunkable connects the things, that's how we'll set it up. So click on that guy and you just have to give it a name. So I'm just gonna say posting app. Okay, we don't want any hosting or anything. And then I'm gonna say register app. Okay, so this is all just kind of set up and it takes a second, um, but once you once you got it going, um, it's it does a lot of work for you. Okay, the one thing we are gonna care about is this API key right here. Um, and that's what we're gonna use to connect it into our, our Thunkable app. You know, in Thunkable, when you create an app, there's a Firebase, API key and you just need to stick that in. But we'll we'll get to that in the in the next video actually. Okay. All right. So we've got that added to I'm going to go back to my console. Um, I've got this posting app. Um, just one more thing I need to do is set up the user authentication because that's what we're going to use um, Firebase for. So I'm going to click on authentication over here. Okay. And just get started. Okay, and there's really only one thing you want to do, which is to enable this email password thing. Once you've enabled that, so I'm just going to click on edit, click enable, you don't need the email link, um, click save, and voila, you're done. Okay, so you've now got this Firebase set up and Thunkable's got a nice component to connect to it. Um, so we're going to make login really, really easy. And you know the one thing you're going to want to get to at some point is the project settings. Um, and once you get here, and if you scroll down, you can get to, yeah, you know, like that API key I was talking about. Okay. So anyway, you get an account at Firebase, create an app, right, and then create the authentication, the user email stuff, and then you're ready to hook it into your Thunkable app.